In quantum mechanics, bra-ket notation is a standard notation for describing quantum states. It can also be used to denote abstract vectors and linear functionals in mathematics. The notation uses angle brackets the and, symbols and a vertical bar the symbol to denote the scalar product of vectors or the action of a linear functional on a vector in a complex vector space. The scalar product or action is written as phi psi display style angle phi mid psi wrangle the right part is called the ket it is a vector typically represented as a column vector and written psi display style psi wrangle the left part is called the bra it is the hermitian conjugate of the ket with the same label typically represented as a row vector and is written phi display style angle phi a combination of bras, kets, and operators is interpreted using matrix multiplication. A bra and a ket with the same label are Hermitian conjugates of each other. Bra-ket notation was introduced in 1939 by Paul Dirac and is also known as the Dirac notation. The bra-ket notation has a precursor in Hermann Grassmann's use of the notation phi psi display style phi mid psi for his inner products nearly 100 years earlier. Introduction Bra-ket notation is a notation for linear algebra, particularly focused on vectors, inner products, linear operators, Hermitian conjugation, and the dual space, for both finite-dimensional and infinite-dimensional complex vector spaces. It is specifically designed to ease the types of calculations that frequently come up in quantum mechanics. Its use in quantum mechanics is quite widespread. Many phenomena that are explained using quantum mechanics are usually explained using bra-ket notation. In simple cases, a ket, M can be described as a column vector, a bra with the same label M, is its conjugate transpose, which is a row vector, and writing bras, kets, and linear operators next to each other implies matrix multiplication. However, kets may also exist in uncountably infinite dimensional vector spaces, such that they cannot be literally written as a column vector. Also, writing a column vector as a list of numbers requires picking a basis, whereas one can write M without committing to any particular basis. This is helpful because quantum mechanics calculations involve frequently switching between different bases e.g. position basis, momentum basis, energy eigenbasis, etc., so it is better to have the basis vectors if any, written out explicitly. In some situations involving two important basis vectors they will be referred to simply as and plus. The standard mathematical notation for the inner product, preferred as well by some physicists, expresses exactly the same thing as the bra-ket notation. Phi psi equals phi psi equals phi psi. Display style phi psi equals Langle phi mid psi wrangle equals B I G L Langle phi big R B I G L psi wrangle big R. Bras and kets can also be configured in other ways, such as the outer product psi phi display style psi wrangle Langle phi, which can also be represented as a matrix multiplication, i.e., a column vector times a row vector equals a matrix. If the ket is an element of a vector space, the bra is technically an element of its dual space. See Riesz representation theorem. Topic: <laughs> Vector spaces. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vectors versus kets. In mathematics, the term vector is used to refer generally to any element of any vector space. In physics, however, the term vector is much more specific. Vector refers almost exclusively to quantities like displacement or velocity, which have three components that relate directly to the three dimensions of the real world. Such vectors are typically denoted with over arrows R or boldface R. In quantum mechanics, a quantum state is typically represented as an element of an abstract complex vector space 
For example, the infinite dimensional vector space of all possible wave functions, functions mapping each point of 3D space to a complex number. Since the term vector is already used for something else, see previous paragraph, it is very common to refer to these elements of abstract complex vector spaces as kets and to write them using ket notation. Topic: <laughs> ket notation. Ket notation, invented by Dirac, uses vertical bars and angular brackets, a. Uh. When this notation is used, these quantities are called kets, and a uh, is read as ket a. These kets can be manipulated using the usual rules of linear algebra, for example, a equals b plus c c equals minus 1 plus 2 i d d equals minus infinity infinity e minus x 2 x d x Display style begin aligned a wrangle and equals b wrangle plus c wrangle c wrangle and equals minus one plus two i d wrangle d wrangle and equals int underscore in a t caret in a t e caret x caret two x wrangle mathrm d x end aligned note how any symbols letters numbers or even words whatever serves as a convenient label can be used as the label inside a ket. For example, the last line above involves infinitely many different kets, one for each real number x. In other words, the symbol a has a specific and universal mathematical meaning, while just the a by itself does not. For example, 1 plus 2 might or might not be equal to 3. Nevertheless, for convenience, there is usually some logical scheme behind the labels inside kets, such as the common practice of labeling energy eigenkets in quantum mechanics through a listing of their quantum numbers. Topic. Inner products and bras An inner product is a generalization of the dot product. The inner product of two vectors is a scalar. In neutral notation notation dedicated to the inner product only, this might be written a, b, where a and b are elements of the abstract vector space, i.e. both are kets. Bra ket notation uses a specific notation for inner products a b equals a b equals the inner product of ket a with ket b display style a b equals langle a b wrangle equals text the inner product of ket a wrangle text with ket b wrangle bra ket notation splits this inner product also called a bracket into two pieces the bra and the ket a b equals a b display style langle a b wrangle equals b i g l langle a big r b i g l b wrangle big r where a is called a bra read as bra a and b is a ket as above the purpose of splitting the inner product into a bra and a ket is that both the bra a, and the ket, b are meaningful on their own, and can be used in other contexts besides within an inner product. There are two main ways to think about the meanings of separate bras and kets. Accordingly, the interpretation of the expression a, b has a second interpretation, namely that of the action of a linear functional per below. Topic. Bras and kets as row and column vectors. For a finite dimensional vector space, using a fixed orthonormal basis, the inner product can be written as a matrix multiplication of a row vector with a column vector a b a 1 b 1 plus a 2 b 2 plus plus a n b n equals a 1 a 
2 a n b1 b2 bn display style langle a b wrangle dotec a underscore 1 caret asterisk b underscore 1 plus a underscore 2 caret asterisk b underscore 2 plus c dots plus a underscore n caret asterisk b underscore n equals begin p matrix a underscore 1 caret asterisk and a underscore 2 caret asterisk and c dots and a underscore n caret asterisk end p matrix begin p matrix b underscore one B underscore two V D O T S B underscore N and P matrix based on this, the bras and kets can be defined as A, a one A two. A N B B one B two B N display style begin aligned Langle A and Dotec begin P matrix a underscore one carrot asterisk and A underscore two carrot asterisk and C D O T S and A underscore N carrot asterisk and P matrix B wrangle and Dotec begin P matrix B underscore one B underscore two V D O T S B underscore N and P matrix end aligned and then it is understood that a bra next to a ket implies matrix multiple multiplication. The conjugate transpose also called Hermitian conjugate of a bra is the corresponding ket and vice versa, a, equals, a, a equals a, display style, langle a, caret dagger equals, a, wrangle, quad, a, wrangle caret dagger equals, langle a, because if one starts with the bra, a 1 a 2 a n, display style, begin, p matrix, a underscore, 1, caret, asterisk, and a underscore, 2, caret, asterisk, and c d o t s and a underscore, n, caret, asterisk, end p matrix then performs a complex conjugation and then a matrix transpose one ends up with the ket a 1 a 2 a n display style begin p matrix a underscore 1 a underscore 2 v d o t s a underscore n end p matrix topic bras as linear functionals A more abstract definition, which is equivalent but more easily generalized to infinite dimensional spaces, is to say that bras are linear functionals on the space of kets, i.e. linear transformations that input a ket and output a complex number. The bra linear functionals are defined to be consistent with the inner product. Thus, if a, is the linear functional corresponding to, a under the Riesz representation theorem, then a b equals a B display style Langle A B wrangle equals Langle A B I G L B wrangle big R i.e. it produces the same complex number as the inner product does. The terminology for the right hand side is though not inner product, which always involves two kets. Confusing this is harmless, since the same number is produced in the end. In mathematics terminology, the vector space of bras is the dual space to the vector space of kets, and corresponding bras and kets are related by the Riesz representation theorem. Non-normalizable states and non-Hilbert spaces Bra-ket notation can be used even if the vector space is not a Hilbert space. In quantum mechanics, it is common practice to write down kets which have infinite norm, i.e. non-normalizable wavefunctions. Examples include states whose wavefunctions are Dirac delta functions or infinite plane waves. These do not, technically, belong to the Hilbert space itself. However, the definition of Hilbert space can be broadened to accommodate these states see the gelfand nymark siegel construction or rigged Hilbert spaces. The bra ket notation continues to work in an analogous way in this broader context. Banach spaces are a different generalization of Hilbert spaces. In a Banach space B, the vectors may be notated by kets and the continuous linear functionals by bras. Over any vector space without topology, we may also notate the vectors by kets and the linear functionals by bras. In these more general contexts, the bracket does not have the meaning of an inner product, because the Riesz representation theorem does not apply. Usage in quantum mechanics The mathematical structure of quantum mechanics is based in large part on linear algebra. 
Wave functions and other quantum states can be represented as vectors in a complex Hilbert space. The exact structure of this Hilbert space depends on the situation. In bra-ket notation, for example, an electron might be in the state psi. Technically, the quantum states are rays of vectors in the Hilbert space, as c psi corresponds to the same state for any non-zero complex number c. Quantum superpositions can be described as vector sums of the constituent states. For example, an electron in the state, 1 plus i, 2 is in a quantum superposition of the states, 1 and, 2. Measurements are associated with linear operators called observables on the Hilbert space of quantum states. Dynamics are also described by linear operators on the Hilbert space. For example, in the Schrödinger picture, there is a linear time evolution operator U with the property that if an electron is in state, psi right now, at a later time it will be in the state U, psi, the same U for every possible, psi. Wave function normalization is scaling a wave function so that its norm is 1, since virtually every calculation in quantum mechanics involves vectors and linear operators, it can involve, and often does involve, bra ket notation. A few examples follow. Topic. Spinless position space wave function The Hilbert space of a spin zero-point particle is spanned by a position basis, R, where the label R extends over the set of all points in position space. This label is the eigenvalue of the position operator acting on such a basis state R R, R equals R R Display style hat math bf r math bf r wrangle equals math bf r math bf r wrangle. Since there are an uncountably infinite number of vector components in the basis, this is an uncountably infinite dimensional Hilbert space. The dimensions of the Hilbert space, usually infinite, and position space, usually one, two, or three, are not to be conflated. Starting from any ket, psi in this Hilbert space, one may define a complex scalar function of R, known as a wave function. Psi R equals def R psi. Display style psi math bf R stackrel text def equals langle math bf R psi wrangle. On the left-hand side, psi r is a function mapping any point in space to a complex number. On the right-hand side, psi equals d3 r psi r. R is a ket consisting of a superposition of kets with relative coefficients specified by that function. It is then customary to define linear operators acting on wave functions in terms of linear operators acting on kets by a psi r equals def R a psi display style a psi math bf r stackrel text def equals langle math bf r a psi wrangle. For instance, the momentum operator p has the following form: p psi r equals def r p psi equals Minus i psi r display style math bf p psi math bf r stackrel text def equals langle math bf r math bf p psi wrangle equals i h b a r nabla psi math bf r. One occasionally encounters an expression such as psi display style nabla psi wrangle though this is something of an abuse of notation. The differential operator must be understood to be an abstract operator, acting on kets, that has the effect of differentiating wave functions once the expression is projected into the position basis r psi wrangle even though, in the momentum basis, the operator amounts to a mere multiplication operator by ip. Topic. Overlap of states In quantum mechanics the expression phi, psi is typically interpreted as the probability amplitude for the state psi to collapse into the state phi. Mathematically, this means the coefficient for the projection of psi onto phi. 
It is also described as the projection of state psi onto state phi. Topic: <laughs> Changing basis for a spin minus one half particle. A stationary spin minus one half particle has a two-dimensional Hilbert space. One orthonormal basis is z z display style up arrow underscore z wrangle down arrow underscore z wrangle where z is the state with a definite value of the spin operator s z equal to plus one half and z is the state with a definite value of the spin operator s z equal to minus one half. Since these are a basis, any quantum state of the particle can be expressed as a linear combination, i.e., quantum superposition of these two states. Psi equals a psi z plus b psi z. Display style psi wrangle equals a underscore psi up arrow underscore z wrangle plus b underscore psi down arrow underscore z wrangle, where a psi and b psi are complex numbers. A different basis for the same Hilbert space is x x display style up arrow underscore x wrangle down arrow underscore x wrangle, defined in terms of s x rather than s z. Again, any state of the particle can be expressed as a linear combination of these two. Psi equals C psi x plus D psi x display style psi wrangle equals C underscore psi up arrow underscore x wrangle plus D underscore psi down arrow underscore x wrangle. In vector form, you might write psi a psi b psi or psi c psi d psi display style psi wrangle dotec begin p matrix a underscore psi b underscore psi end p matrix quad text or quad psi wrangle dotec begin p matrix c underscore psi d underscore psi end p matrix depending on which basis you are using in other words the coordinates of a vector depend on the basis used there is a mathematical relationship between a psi, b psi, c psi and d psi, see change of basis. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Misleading uses. There are a few conventions and abuses of notation that are generally accepted by the physics community, but which might confuse the non-initiated. It is common to use the same symbol for labels and constants in the same equation. For example, a alpha equals alpha, alpha, where the symbol alpha is used simultaneously as the name of the operator a, its eigenvector, alpha and the associated eigenvalue alpha. Something similar occurs in component notation of vectors. While psi uppercase is traditionally associated with wave functions, psi lowercase may be used to denote a label, a wave function or complex constant in the same context, usually differentiated only by a subscript. The main abuses are including operations inside the vector labels. This is done for a fast notation of scaling vectors. E.g. if the vector, alpha is scaled by square root 2, it might be denoted by, alpha, square root 2, which makes no sense since alpha is a label, not a function or a number, so you can't perform operations on it. This is especially common when denoting vectors as tensor products, where part of the labels are moved outside the design slot, e.g. alpha equals alpha square root 21 alpha square root 22 here part of the labeling that should state that all three vectors are different was moved outside the kets as subscripts 1 and 2 and a further abuse occurs since alpha is meant to refer to the norm of the first vector which is a label denoting a value equals <laughs> topic linear operators equals topic linear operators acting on kets a linear operator is a map that inputs a ket and outputs a ket in order to be called 
linear, it is required to have certain properties, in other words, if A is a linear operator and ψ is a ket, then A, ψ is another ket. In an n-dimensional Hilbert space, ψ can be written as an n times 1 column vector, and then A is an n times n matrix with complex entries. The ket A, ψ can be computed by normal matrix multiplication. Linear operators are ubiquitous in the theory of quantum mechanics. For example, observable physical quantities are represented by self-adjoint operators, such as energy or momentum, whereas transformative processes are represented by unitary linear operators such as rotation or the progression of time. <laughs> <laughs> linear operators acting on bras Operators can also be viewed as acting on bras from the right-hand side. Specifically, if A is a linear operator and phi is a bra, then phi A is another bra defined by the rule phi a psi equals phi a psi. Display style b i g l langle phi bold symbol a big R psi wrangle equals langle phi b i g l bold symbol a psi wrangle big R. In other words, a function composition. This expression is commonly written as CF energy inner product phi a psi display style langle phi bold symbol a psi wrangle in an n-dimensional Hilbert space phi can be written as a 1 times n row vector and a as in the previous section is an n times n matrix then the bra phi a can be computed by normal matrix multiplication if the same state vector appears on both bra and ket side Psi a psi display style langle psi bold symbol a psi wrangle. Then this expression gives the expectation value, or mean or average value, of the observable represented by operator A for the physical system in the state psi. Topic: Outer products. A convenient way to define linear operators on a Hilbert space H is given by the outer product. If phi is a bra and psi is a ket, the outer product phi psi display style phi wrangle langle psi denotes the rank one operator with the rule phi psi x equals psi x phi Display style b i g l phi wrangle langle psi big R x equals langle psi x wrangle phi wrangle. For a finite dimensional vector space, the outer product can be understood as simple matrix multiplication. Phi psi phi one phi two phi n psi one psi Two psi n equals phi one psi one phi one psi two phi one psi n phi two psi one phi two Psi two phi two psi n phi n psi one phi n psi two phi n psi n display style phi wrangle langle psi dotec begin p matrix phi underscore one phi underscore two v d o t s phi underscore n end p matrix begin p matrix psi underscore one caret asterisk and psi underscore two caret asterisk and c d o t s and psi underscore n caret asterisk end p matrix equals begin p matrix phi underscore one psi underscore one caret 
carrot asterisk and phi underscore one psi underscore two carrot asterisk and C D O T S and Phi underscore one psi underscore N carrot asterisk phi underscore two psi underscore one carrot asterisk and phi underscore two psi underscore two carrot asterisk and C D O T S and Phi underscore two psi underscore N carrot asterisk V D O T S and V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S Phi underscore N psi underscore one carrot asterisk and phi underscore n psi underscore two carrot asterisk and c d o t s and phi underscore n psi underscore n carrot asterisk end p matrix the outer product is an n times n matrix as expected for a linear operator one of the uses of the outer product is to construct projection operators given a ket psi of norm 1 the orthogonal projection onto the subspace spanned by psi is psi psi display style psi wrangle langle psi Topic: Hermitian conjugate operator. Just as kets and bras can be transformed into each other, making psi into psi, the element from the dual space corresponding to a psi is psi a, where a denotes the Hermitian conjugate or adjoint of the operator a. In other words, phi equals a psi if and only if phi equals Psi a display style phi wrangle equals a psi wrangle quad text if and only if quad langle phi equals langle psi a caret dagger. If a is expressed as an n times n matrix, then a is its conjugate transpose. Self adjoint operators where a equals a play an important role in quantum mechanics. For example, an observable is always described by a self adjoint operator. If a is a self-adjoint operator, then psi, a, psi is always a real number, not complex. This implies that expectation values of observables are real. Properties Bra ket notation was designed to facilitate the formal manipulation of linear algebraic expressions. Some of the properties that allow this manipulation are listed herein. In what follows, C1 and C2 denote arbitrary complex numbers, C** denotes the complex conjugate of C, A and B denote arbitrary linear operators, and these properties are to hold for any choice of bras and kets. Linearity <inaudible> 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 Since bras are linear functionals, phi c one psi one plus c two psi two equals c one phi psi one plus c two phi Psi two Display style Langle Phi B I G L C underscore one Psi underscore one Wrangle plus C underscore two Psi underscore two Wrangle Big R equals C underscore one Langle Phi Psi underscore one Wrangle plus C underscore two Langle Phi Psi underscore two Wrangle By the definition of addition and scalar multiplication of linear functionals in the dual space C one phi one plus c two phi two psi equals c one phi one psi plus c two phi two psi Display style B I G L C underscore one Langle Phi underscore one plus C underscore two Langle Phi underscore two Big R Psi Wrangle equals C underscore one Langle Phi underscore one Psi Wrangle plus C underscore two Langle Phi underscore two Psi Wrangle Topic Associativity 
Given any expression involving complex numbers, bras, kets, inner products, outer products, and or linear operators but not addition, written in bra-ket notation, the parenthetical groupings do not matter i.e., the associative property holds. For example, psi a phi equals psi a phi equals def psi a phi a psi phi equals a psi phi equals def a psi phi display style begin aligned langle psi b i g l a phi wrangle big r equals b i g l langle psi a big r phi wrangle and stackrel text def equals langle psi a phi wrangle b i g l a psi wrangle big r langle phi equals a b i g l psi wrangle langle phi big r and stackrel text def equals a psi wrangle langle phi end aligned and so forth the expressions on the right with no parentheses whatsoever are allowed to be written unambiguously because of the equalities on the left. Note that the associative property does not hold for expressions that include nonlinear operators, such as the antilinear time reversal operator in physics. Topic: <laughs> Hermitian conjugation. bra -ket notation makes it particularly easy to compute the Hermitian conjugate also called dagger, and denoted of expressions. The formal rules are The Hermitian conjugate of a bra is the corresponding ket, and vice versa. The Hermitian conjugate of a complex number is its complex conjugate. The Hermitian conjugate of the Hermitian conjugate of anything linear operators, bras, kets, numbers is itself, i.e. x equals x display style left x caret dagger right caret dagger equals x given any combination of complex numbers bras kets inner products outer products and or linear operators written in bra ket notation its hermitian conjugate can be computed by reversing the order of the components and taking the hermitian conjugate of each these rules are sufficient to formally write the Hermitian conjugate of any such expression. Some examples are as follows: Kets C one psi one plus C two psi two equals C one psi one plus C Two psi two display style b i g l c underscore one psi underscore one wrangle plus c underscore two psi underscore two wrangle big R carrot dagger equals c underscore one carrot asterisk langle psi underscore one plus c underscore two carrot asterisk langle psi underscore two inner products phi psi equals Psi phi display style langle phi psi wrangle caret asterisk equals langle psi phi wrangle. Note that phi psi is a scalar, so the Hermitian conjugate is just the complex conjugate, i.e. phi psi equals phi psi display style b i g l langle phi psi wrangle big r caret dagger equals langle phi psi wrangle caret asterisk matrix elements phi a psi equals psi a phi phi a b psi Equals psi b a phi display style begin aligned langle phi a psi wrangle caret asterisk and equals left langle psi left a caret dagger right phi right wrangle left langle phi left a caret dagger b caret dagger right psi right wrangle caret asterisk and equals langle psi b a phi wrangle end aligned outer products c one phi one Psi one plus C two Phi 
2 psi 2 equals c 1 psi 1 phi 1 plus c 2 psi 2 phi 2 Display style big B I G L C underscore one Phi underscore one Wrangle Langle Psi underscore one Big R plus B I G L C underscore two Phi underscore two Wrangle Langle Psi underscore two Big R Big Carrot dagger equals B I G L C underscore one Carrot asterisk Psi underscore one Wrangle Langle Phi underscore one Big R plus B I G L C underscore two Carrot asterisk Psi underscore two Wrangle Langle Phi underscore two big R. Topic Composite bras and kets. Two Hilbert spaces V and W may form a third space VW by a tensor product. In quantum mechanics, this is used for describing composite systems. If a system is composed of two subsystems described in V and W respectively, then the Hilbert space of the entire system is the tensor product of the two spaces, the exception to this is if the subsystems are actually identical particles. In that case, the situation is a little more complicated. If ψ is a ket in V and φ is a ket in W, the direct product of the two kets is a ket in VW this is written in various notations. ψ φ Psi Phi Psi Phi Psi Phi Display style Psi Wrangle Phi Wrangle Quad Psi Wrangle O times Phi Wrangle Quad Psi Phi Wrangle Quad Psi Phi Wrangle See quantum entanglement and the EPR paradox for applications of this product. Topic the unit operator Consider a complete orthonormal system basis E I I element of N display style E underscore I I in math B N for a Hilbert space H with respect to the norm from an inner product From basic functional analysis it is known that any ket psi can also be written as psi equals i element of n e i psi e i display style psi wrangle equals sum underscore i in math b n wrangle e underscore i psi wrangle e underscore i wrangle with the inner product on the hilbert space from the commutativity of kets with complex scalars it follows that I element of N E I E I equals one one display style sum underscore I in math B N E underscore I wrangle Langle E underscore I equals one one must be the identity operator which sends each vector to itself. This, then, can be inserted in any expression without affecting its value, for example, V W equals V I element of N E I E I W equals V I element of N E I E I J element of N E J E J W equals V E I E I E J E J W display style begin aligned Langle V W wrangle and equals Langle V left sum underscore I in math B N E underscore I wrangle Langle E underscore I right W wrangle and equals Langle V left sum underscore I in math B N E underscore I wrangle Langle E underscore I right left sum underscore J in math 
B N E underscore J Wrangle Langle E underscore J right W Wrangle and equals Langle V E underscore I Wrangle Langle E underscore I E underscore J Wrangle Langle E underscore J W Wrangle end aligned where in the last identity the Einstein summation convention has been used. In quantum mechanics, it often occurs that little or no information about the inner product psi, phi of two arbitrary state kets is present, while it is still possible to say something about the expansion coefficients psi, a equals a, psi asterisk and a, phi of those vectors with respect to a specific orthonormalized basis. In this case, it is particularly useful to insert the unit operator into the bracket one time or more. For more information, see resolution of the identity. One. Topic DX XX DP PP where P. Topic DX EIX P H X square root two pi since X X Delta x minus x plane waves follow x p equals e i x p h square root two pi. Typically, when all matrix elements of an operator such as x a y display style angle x a y wrangle are available, this resolution serves to reconstitute the full operator d x d y x x a y y equals a display style int dx dy tilde tilde x wrangle langle x a y wrangle langle y equals a tilde topic notation used by mathematicians The object physicists are considering when using bra ket notation as a Hilbert space, a complete inner product space. Let H be a Hilbert space and H element of H a vector in H. What physicists would denote by H is the vector itself. That is, H element of H display style H wrangle in math call H. Let H asterisk be the dual space of H. This is the space of linear functionals on H. The isomorphism phi H H asterisk is defined by phi H equals phi H, where for every G element of H we define phi H G equals I P H G equals H G equals H G equals H G display style phi underscore H G equals M box I P H G equals H G equals Langle H G wrangle equals Langle H G wrangle where I P and are just different notations for expressing an inner product between two elements in a Hilbert space or for the first three in any inner product space. Notational confusion arises when identifying phi h and g with h, and g respectively. This is because of literal symbolic substitutions. Let phi h topic h h and let g topic g G. This gives phi h g equals h g equals h g equals h g equals h g. Display style phi underscore h g equals h g equals h g equals Langle h g equals Langle h b i g l g wrangle big R. One ignores the parentheses and removes the double bars. Some properties of this notation are convenient since we are dealing with linear operators and composition acts like a ring multiplication. 
Moreover, mathematicians usually write the dual entity not at the first place, as the physicists do, but at the second one, and they usually use not an asterisk but an overline which the physicists reserve for averages and the Dirac spinner adjoint to denote complex conjugate numbers, i.e., for scalar products mathematicians usually write phi psi equals phi x psi x d x display style phi psi equals int phi x c d o t overline psi x mathrm d x whereas physicists would write for the same quantity psi phi equals d x psi x phi x Display style Langle psi phi wrangle equals int mathem d x psi caret asterisk x c d o t phi x. Topic. See also. Angular momentum diagrams, quantum mechanics, n-slit interferometric equation, quantum state, inner product equals equals notes <laughs>